before we get to watercolor, let's just draw a simple circle and we'll uh, get acquainted a little bit with shades and shadow. This circle is still very two-dimensional and be that's because it's not shaded or doesn't project any shadow. So this, let's say that this is the light part, the, the part that is uh, being uh, lit by the sun, and this is the shaded part, the, the part that is being occluded from the sun. So this whole part would be shaded. So now this has like a slight notion of three-dimensionality to it. It's simple, but it's, it's starting to resemble a sphere instead of a circle. So what I want you guys to do next is this exact uh, exercise, but with watercolor. It has some variations, some natural variations that occur due to the uh, watercolor. And like just dissolving this edge with water. This is what I get.